you know who production. What are you, stupid? Yes! I'm stupid? Yes! What are you, stupid? Yes! I'm fucking stupid? Acceptable. What's this? You don't believe me? Me? <laughs> I will prove it. In today's modern world, it, it takes a lot of energy to be stupid. I think people out there are stupid. If I appear to be intelligent, I will irritate them. So I'm going to be more stupid than they are, so they're going to like me. Rarely is the question asked, our, is our children learning? Because you and I either don't know or don't care about what's going on. The fact that there is a culture of deliberate stupidity is strange proof that someone or something is working to keep us stupid. We're seeing a society that not only has a lot more people of lower IQ, but a lot fewer people of higher IQ. The dumbness that is dragging us down. That leaves them dependent on government because they can't excel. We have these people of lower IQ who are totally dependent. Then we have this mass of people who are going to believe anything they're told because they can't really think clearly. Television. There are billions of televisions in the world. The educational possibilities are astounding. TV can reach just about everyone. But does TV educate, inform, or enlighten? In general, my feeling about television is that an awful lot of it is very superficial. It's geared for about a seven-year-old's mentality. Even though most of its viewers are not morons nor seven years old, TV is literally geared towards a moronic mentality. Uh, so therefore you want to gear uh, the programs, you want to dumb them down to the level of children. No one encourages anyone to get intelligent. Even though we know very little about it, most of us have strong opinions. Hey, most of us probably call someone or something stupid every day. Well, you're a moron. People call each other idiot. But most of us have no clue where these terms come from. It's called stupidity. The subject has been in the news, of course, lately. Explain the point you're trying to make here. I think we're trying to make the point that stupidity has become a new trend. Thanks. I think the thing that I'm suspicious of as far as television is concerned, is the brazen claim that so many people make to me that they watch it because they don't want to think. I think we've all heard this before. Oh, I just like to go home at the end of the day to get veg. In other words, to arrive at a state of virtual catatonia. And, and I think that any medium that is attractive to us on that basis, we should just kind of, if we've got any brains left, we should realize, though, that that is potentially, that there is something potentially wrong with that. That is basically, it's a form of trance, it's a form of self-hypnosis. It turns us into passive consumers of images. And, and of course we need to relax, and of course we need to get away, but yet on the other hand, to just kind of say that this is, is not having any effect, that it's just kind of like stepping outside for fresh air, is a really stupid thing. Ironically, while a culture of deliberate stupidity is reaching its apex, the challenges facing the world would seem to require more intelligence. It'll take time to restore chaos. What they'll say is, well, it costs too much money. But you know what? It would cost about it, it, it would cost about the same as what we would spend it, over the course of ten years. It would cost what it would cost us. It, it, <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to. It, it would cost us about the same as it would cost 
for about, hold on one second, I can't hear myself. The action-based, or what you might call imbecilic content, is aimed at all of us, whatever age. Treat people like they are teens, idiots, or dazzling morons. Bypass adult critical judgment and get to the hungry moron. Intelligent content may promote critical thinking, but treating people like morons pays. A failure to see things as they really are, to be open to new information. This is the mechanism for the creation of stupidity. Only One thing is clear. Stupidity rules the world. Perhaps it's time for stupidity to become a subject of deliberate study and analysis. Perhaps it's time that we examine the awesome power of stupidity and how it can be turned against us, rendering us all idiots. If we can learn to understand the power of our stupidity, we may understand the incredible power of our intelligence. Our world has more than a few critical issues facing it. We may want to be smart for once. You know who production.